guys welcome back to my channel this is yab electrical technician and today we are going to see about the top and most frequently asked questions in an electrical interview and the last one it almost as every interview so let's stay connected up to the last second of the video and if you are new for this channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel let's go to the video the first question the most frequently asked one is why when bird sit on a transmission lines or in a current wires doesn't get shocked the answer is it's true that if birds uh, touch a single one line or phase or neutral they don't get electrical shock if birds touch uh, two lines then the circuit is closed and they get electrical shock so if a human touch single one line or single phase then he doesn't get a shock if he is in the air or not touching the stand on the ground if he is standing on the ground then touching the line or face he will get shock because the ground on which he is standing is like a line that means ground bit uh, like neutral and in the most of uh, electric lines the neutral is grounded so that means that human who uh, touches the line closes the circuit between phase and neutral the second question is what is a vacuum circuit breaker Define with cause and where we use it. The answer is here. A breaker is normally used to break a circuit. While breaking the circuit, the contact terminals will be separated. At the time of separation, an air gap is formed in between the terminals. Due to exist current flow, the air in the gap is ionized and results in the arc. Various mediums are used to quench this arc in respective circuit breakers. But in the vacuum circuit breaker, the medium is vacuum gas. Since the air in the circuit breaker is having vacuum pressure, the arc formation is interrupted. Vacuum circuit breaker can be used up to 11 kV. And the third question, what is meant by armature reaction? Answer, the effect of armature flux to the main flux is called armature reaction. The armature flux may support the main flux or oppose the main flux. Question number four. What will happen when a power factor is leading in the distribution of power? Answer, if there is a high power factor, that means if the power factor is close to one, three things will happen. The first one is loss in the form of it will be reduced. The second one, cable becomes less bulky and easy to carry and very cheap to afford. And the third one, it also reduces overheating of transformers. Tell me in detail about CT and PT. Answer. The term CT means current transformer and the term PT means potential transformer. In a circuit where measurement of high voltage and high current is involved, they are used there. Particularly when a measuring device like voltmeter or ammeter is not able to measure such a high value of quantity because of large value of torque, due to such high value, it can damage the measuring devices. So CT and PT are introduced in the circuit. They work on the same principle of transformer which is based on the leakage of electromagnetic flux produced by the primary with the secondary. They work on the ratio to uh, they are designed. Example, if uh, CT is a ratio of 5,000 pair 5 ampere, and it has to measure secondary current of 8,000, then the answer or the output will be 8,000 multiplied by 5 uh, divided by 500 gives 8 ampere and this result will be given to the ammeter after uh, measuring 8 ampere we can calculate the primary current same as in the operation of PT but measuring voltage 